Hello everyone and welcome to the Video Gadgets Journal, connecting you with your technology. This is a Google Nexus 6, a 6 inch Super AMOLED display, beautiful. This is a Samsung Galaxy S4, also with a Super AMOLED display, but just a little bit smaller. Is there any difference between the two? So in this test, I thought it might be interesting to show the Nexus 6 screen up against what has often been argued as one of the best screens around for a very long time, and that's all the Galaxy S screens in terms of their Super AMOLED displays. Now, the Nexus 6 also has a Super AMOLED display, but Samsung is regarded as the leader in this area. Now, I've turned off any outside light interference, so there's no lighting at all. Uh, anywhere you're just seeing the screens and they're both using the same wallpaper uh, just so that the test is fair and equal and at the moment I have both screens on complete low brightness settings so this is the very lowest setting that they can both be at uh, and I'm going to raise the uh, brightness on both screens hopefully at around about the same time and we'll see how this changes things And so we're now at full brightness, and that's how it changes the screens. Looks to be pretty indistinguishable on screen, and I would say with the naked eye, I can't really tell a difference either. We'll just go to medium setting on both brightnesses and see if there's any noticeable difference there. Uh, there we are. Again, nothing to really set the two screens apart. So the last test I'm going to do is to go to the settings on each of the handsets and put it onto auto brightness or in the Nexus 6's case, adaptive brightness. So they're just going to manage themselves now and we'll see if that looks any different on either of the screens. I would say that the Galaxy S4 now is a little more washed out uh, because perhaps it's using a different um, scale of brightness. I've currently set it to uh, plus five, so it should be at its maximum auto brightness, if that makes any sense. So it looks as if the Nexus 6 is uh, better able to cope with uh, brightness settings, although you'll see at the bottom um, there is quite a difference in the brightness because the icons on the Nexus 6 are overexposed whereas there's more clarity on the Galaxy S4 but that's just because of the camera settings. Obviously to the naked eye the screens look absolutely fine. But there you are, that is another test of the uh, Nexus 6 and the good news is that if you like Galaxy S AMOLED displays, which I love, they are so vibrant and so rich and so crisp and so clear, ever since I've had a Gal uh, Nexus 2, I so not a Nexus 2, a Galaxy S2, I've been absolutely blown away by the quality of the screens and the Nexus 6 Motorola screen is on a par with them. What do you have in terms of opinions on the Nexus 6 screen? Do you think it's as good or can you spot anything that makes the uh, Galaxy S4 or Galaxy range screens any different? I'd like to hear all your opinions. Please do share and discuss in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in another Nexus 6 journal. And in contrast to the Nexus 9, so far things are looking quite good for this new phone.